Good morning. I'm trying to do my curtains for our boat. And this is what I'm using, tape. <laughs> it's pretty easy. You just put it on there, set it down. Where are you going to hem? I love this stuff because it's so easy to hem whatever you want to hem. You just put an iron on it. It's got tape on one side, so I'm ironing right over. It looks like maybe, uh, what do they call that? Parchment paper. So I'm ironing on this sticky stuff. And then I'm folding my curtains in half. Ooh, what? cool real good, dry real good and stuff, and then um, we're going to put them on a curtain rod and see how they look. I might have to put, I was maybe thinking about putting a little bottom, there was already a bottom hem on these, but they were too long, so I took the bottom hem off and cut it. I cut all the bottom hem. This is it. They're pretty long. They had to be 120. So, once I fold them in half, they will be the perfect length. And I'll add this onto the bottom. So we can put a curtain rod through here too. So, I'm doing tops and bottoms. I'm not going to do the bottoms today because I want to put the curtain rods up, make sure how they're going to set first. But I love this tape. It's wonderful. It's so easy to do as long as you know about where you're going to need it and stuff. You can do pants. You can do anything with this tape stuff. It's great. After I get it where I want it, they can need it. don't have to worry too much because you're gonna heat it oh heat it back up here in a minute then I'll take the tape off and flip it up and hem my curtains like that wherever you rip this tape it fits perfectly right up against the last piece I ripped so you know pretty much the problem is these curtains want to stretch a little bit and so one end ends up being a little over the edge but I don't think you'll see it once it's all done and hanging up on the rod so I'm not going to worry about it. That probably ain't going to work. Maybe it will. Kind of overlapped it a little bit right there. I know everybody's so proud of me. Huh? <laughs> 
pigs in this boat up. It looks so good since Mike put the floor in. And um, I put the cushions in. I bought some pillows, throw pillows and stuff. They're really cute. Kind of all match. And then I bought a new bedspread. It's blue and white stripe. It's cute. With some white um, sheets with stars, blue stars. So blues, stripes, and stars. <laughs> so patriotic, aren't I? <laughs> This is the last one. I'm so excited. Yeah, it wants to kind of bunch up a little bit and get crooked on me. It's right up against the other piece. high, but I'm not going to worry about it. This last piece, we're still going to work. Ta-da! I like to heat the ends really good because they're kind of thick. So excited. We're getting ready to take the boat to Florida. We got our um, wide load um, flags and stuff that we have to put on the truck and the boat. So we'll be doing that soon. Now if I can get Mike to help me put the curtain rods up. I can throw the curtains in. And that's pretty much it, I think, before we leave for Florida. When we get down to Florida, we'll kind of put some stuff in the boat. Not sure exactly what I'm going to use. I'm going to cut this little piece off. That's the hardest part about this tape, is once you glue it down, it's hard to find a piece that you can flip up and take the uh, plastic side off. It's kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> okay, so um, I'll show you the curtains once I get um, some rods up. I'll show you the curtains, how they're going to hang. And then I'll decide whether I'm going to put the bottom on these or not. Okay? So we'll talk to you soon.